Hello, um, welcome again to another good demonstration of a, uh, something the latest I did today uh, right here in Slovakia, Bratislava. Um, I'm going to do a demonstration of something that's just been completed about an hour ago. This is the bomb drop configurator. And this is the ZK version for iDampier 2.1, 3.0. And this job is uh, sponsored by Sysnova Bangladesh. Yeah, and I'm here with my son Nassim and we are hosted by Nobot. And here's a picture of a lunch earlier at the cafe nearby. Uh, having some spaghetti is all finished. Yeah. Well, a bit about Nobet, uh, he's one of our top contributors, he has forwarded many bug fixes and features uh, to bring Idempia to the next level because he implemented on large warehouses and on the cloud. Here in Slovakia, uh, the gateway to Europe. And he has also done the Macento web shop integration to Idempia. And you probably know that this year Idempia has won the 2015 Bossy InfoWell Award for larger, I mean, in other words, larger free ERP software suit. Okay, today I'm going to do a bomb drop um, demonstration. As you know, the bomb drop uh, having this option variance and radio group combination was never completed by Compere nor Libero. But I completed it in April 15 for the swing version. We are going to go back in April 15. Yeah, I did something like this, but it's for the string version and yes, radio groups. And before you confirm the drop, you have a total land, so you have available figures there. Well, for this uh, ZK version, I'm happy to say that I've also done it just now, about an hour ago, and I'm ready to uh, do a demonstration. And let me log in here. And after logging in, what we would like to do is that, um, of course, you need to define your bomb if you know a bill of material is can have successive uh, ch child, children, grandchildren, and you can play around with the component type of either. Let me go to a component type. You see that in the furniture set, we have three child. Com uh, components. Uh, two is the standard component. They will be fixed children and this is an option means you can select or deselect. Let me go to the configuration bomb. You can assess the configuration bomb from the Libero menu manufacturing management uh, menu under the bill of materials and here it is. You can drag it here. This bomb drop belongs to the uh, older Edempier or Idempier version and is not exactly having the features here. I've put this under Libero, so here it is. Sorry, I'm going to launch it. No, let me launch it. Now you have to select a price list. This is something new. And now we choose the furniture set, and as you can see the new features here. You have a grand pri uh, total price uh, automatically displayed, and if you were to toggle, you will get. Uh, intermediate sum of the children displayed here and enlarged is easier for you. But let's go back to the structure so you know you have uh, three children as uh, stated here. One is an option and here's the option. So, okay, let me collapse. It doesn't collapse automatically. As you can see 2559 plus 67 will give you this figure and it's what the use of this intermediate uh, um, note uh, sum is 4 and you should leave your parents at 0 uh, uh, price even though it's price here but uh, you should be left 0 because the price will be uh, will be obtained from the children okay so let me choose here and here's the variant okay let's go to the Bill of material to see how the subsequent uh, structure is done. Let me close this. Well, uh, we will now go to the next 
uh, parent or, or children. Chair, and as you see, the chair has uh, four children, as you can see here. The chair has one, two, three, four, and this last two is a radio group. Okay, you can do that, and the reason you can do that is because they are selected as not component, no variant, no option. So you can come and select here, and if you were to choose any of this other than component, option, and variant, they will automatically be defined as a radio group. So this allow more dynamic definition of that. And if you were to go uh, to the next, let's say, assembly back lake, you will see there's two more uh, radio group and one variant back lake. So let's go to the back lake. Here you can see two is a radio group and one is a variant. So that's how you get all this uh, uh, represented here. Now let me just put a 10 here to show you you can change it. So the resulting is that the back leg has one to one relationship so, but its chair has four to the table. One Each furniture set has four chairs so it will cascade down and giving a result of 40. Likewise here 2 times 4 is 8 and times the matter price this is what you give you. So let me select here and you have a total of 334 and we're going to drop it into a order yes this order was dropped earlier so let me clear that up you create a new order in this case I'm doing a repeat test so that's why the price was there so what I'm supposed to do let me just delete everything okay so I've got this all cleared for the demonstration and let me let me refresh up ah, just to make sure everything is nice and we repeat back get the price and the furniture set and you're ready to drop to this order uh, let me do a selection here and this will toggle the prices out Okay, 10, Oop. A toggle again to get this. Yeah, this toggling is manually done, a bit of an inconvenience, but it's worth it because you do have this kind of um, summing up or roll up of the prices. As you can see here, this plus this plus this will give you this total and the chair and 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 that subsequently this 104 to this six will give you this 140 so this summing up they are not included in this because this 334 comes from final children because this will be the final children that will be dropped onto this sales order let us do that i hope the memory don't run out yes we have a drop of five lines been inserted let us uh, refresh the sales order you see that the six lines are inserted. Let's just go on the grid view and you will see that one, two, three, four, five, six items is there. If you were to compare, you have a table, single table, it's 67. Let us bring it closer. Okay. So you will have a total of 67.50 here, likewise. Sorry. It was closed automatically after closing, but let us uh, call it back to compare based on our selection just now, just for comparison, because it basically closed the um, bomb drop configurator after dropping. So you have this uh, 6750 and the next one will be the seat as we said you will not uh, take into account the parent you will take final children as the ingredients of your bill of material at four units of 21 giving you 84 and likewise you have this 21 giving 84 from four units next is the back support also four item at five dollars each giving you 20 and you have this is correctly represented and next will be the back leg so because you select the back leg of the radio group and that's your back leg at 8 13 
104, which is also accurate. Correct, yeah? 8 at price 1304, and the next is glue at 10 units of 90 cents, but uh, because it's uh, 4 chairs, I think subsequently 40 equals to 36, which is here. And the last is your options. You have selected the screen and it's 22.50 unit price times your um one yes so this is there so yep this um, bomb configuration is um, also reported and I support it here at my forum so you can go to my forum and you can get the link uh, which I have just uploaded yeah the binary is here just drop the binary into the Olympia stack 2.1 Take this latest one about 30 minutes ago, and the B bucket is the source here. Is where I'm running it from. The source you will add this into your IDMP stack and resolve if there's any dependency problems, and then you could change the code. But do share back in accordance with the GBL license and contact me if you need anything further. Uh, anything uh, you can ask in the forum so everything looks fine here and so therefore thank you for uh, watching this and use this video as a guide and hope you will use it uh, well and I'll thank my host again here and of course Sisnova Bangladesh bye bye